story of Ireland and its people, of course, are inextricably linked with the story of America. And I suppose the, the story of the Irish in America is inextricably linked with um, the Irish in New York. Irish immigrants landing in New York, you know, often devoid of any material possessions or any material riches, were often rich in intangible cultures and in music, song and dance, things that were lightly carried, being an oral tradition, but things that are, are culturally uh, valuable to us and, and form a very, very important part of, of our heritage. That link that never severed to back home. These recordings are part of the music tradition, but they're also part of the story of the Irish in Ireland and the Irish diaspora abroad, the, the story of immigration, the story of people having to go abroad because of necessity. It's that social history at the core of our tradition that I think is so clearly evident in this, in this digital exhibition. Some of the images we have go back as early as um, 18, 1877, an absolutely magnificent image of uh, Kitty O'Neill, a dancer. Um, her, just her expression in the photograph is, is just really striking. All too often photos, manuscripts, recordings have been lost or forgotten. Through this project, the ITMA have encouraged the excavation of personal collections of photos, manuscripts and recordings, and have digitised the shared, cherished collections, thereby providing an accessible record of our rich Irish musical history. It provides us an authentic view of Irish New York and its traditional Irish music culture. We want people to engage with this archive material because we believe there's people can do something with it. Music